Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. I was running a few errands and popped into two thrift stores that were like a block away from each other. And I was able to pick up some stuff at each one. First of all, on a table full of junk, I find this little item. And there was no price. And at first I thought, oh, this looks, you know, like some trinket box, you know, worthless. As it reminded me, um, in, back in the day, you know, in my youth, uh, in those tourist shops in Chinatown, they would sell similar things like this, sort of like a piece of broken pottery, pottery shard, turned into some sort of box. And uh, it was quite common, I believe, Back in the 70s, um, there was the uh, Cultural Revolution in China where the young people were like running around, you know, in the name of communism, uh, smashing, you know, one of the, you know, the great evils which they considered like antiques and, you know, Western bourgeoisie, you know, anything to do with, you know, the wealthy. And yeah, they started smashing antiques, vases, you know, putting stamp and coin collections into bonfires. And I guess, um, you know, some entrepreneurial person uh, in the 80s and 90s started to repurpose, you know, the, the shards. So they had a whole bunch of these type of trinkets in, you know, North American Chinatowns. But um, I knew this was much better quality than those ones, you know, found in Chinatown because on the bottom it actually says 925 925 silver so this is actually a silver box really neat and there you know you can tell it's good quality because there's some machining at the bottom of the box no other maker's marks or anything. But um, since it was on a table of junk, I thought, uh, okay, I brought it to the front counter and I asked the guy uh, manning the till, can I pay a dollar for this? And he looked at it and said, sure, why not? So this was a pretty awesome find. Um, you know, I didn't want to ask him, oh, you know, how much is this? And likelihood, he'll probably say like two or three dollars or four dollars or whatever. But I just thought, you know, it doesn't hurt to throw out a price and anything less than a dollar, you know, they'll probably say, mm, you know, like no way. Like if I said, how about 50 cents, which is pocket change, and they'll counter back at two dollars or three dollars. So it doesn't hurt to, you know, ask, you know, if it, if it was not silver. You know, a buck for something like this um, would be considered, you know, reasonable, especially not priced. So that was pretty awesome. And a block away went to another thrift store, Salvation Army, love that place. And in the display case, I found a box of older uh, silverware. You know, it wasn't that many pieces, probably like 10 pieces, tongs and whatnot. So uh, I asked the lady to open the cabinet for me or the, the case for me and I, I went through the stuff and I found these two spoons which it says, oops, other way around, 830S. So it's 83% uh, silver and there's a mark here which looks like a teapot. So I looked it up, and this turns out to be uh, made by a Norwegian silversmith. I believe it's uh, Sather's Gull. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. And you know what really sparked my attention, if you could see there engraved, So I'm not sure what letter that is, but um, I thought, hmm, this is definitely uh, a rich family's 
cutlery, or I guess it's a demi tasse spoon, like a small spoon. But uh, just by the style of it, it looks, you know, maybe late 1800s, perhaps turn of the century. And I love the price, 99 cents. The rest of the stuff in the box was just um, silver plate. But, you know, right away I asked them, I didn't want to pay right away. I wanted to, like, look around still. So I asked them to put it up front for me until I'm ready to pay. And the funny thing was, uh, the, the cashier, uh, when I checked out, started talking to me and said, oh, the stuff in the box, uh, you know, was there any silver? You know, did you buy these, you know, because it's silver? And I go, no, so it looks like silver plate to me. You know, I basically said, hey, I collect older spoons and even the silver plated stuff, just it, if it has the age, you know, I like it for my collection. You know, I didn't want to say too much, but um, 99 cents, awesome price. And it, they weigh about 10, 11 grams of, you could say coin silver each. Um, so I figure this box, this silver box is probably worth about 30 to $40. And these spoons are probably about 10 bucks each, give or take a few bucks. So pretty nice haul for one, two, three, three dollars. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this haul. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin Picker out.